Prompts. The best way to show what a prompt or a callout is, is by demonstrating it. So I am going to bring forward my Camtasia window and I am going to show you a prompt. Here it is. The prompt is a piece of textual information that you can provide in your screen at any given moment of your recording. So what I'm going to do at this moment is I am going to let my recording play so you can listen the moment in which I decided to use a prompt. So I'm going to play visual part of your video and the auditory part of your video. And part of what we're going to do at this moment is we are going to split them apart. Basically what happened at the time of recording is that I just right click on this area to get this contextual menu forward but I didn't describe that at the time of the recording. So my best way to resolve that without having to re-record the entire lesson is by providing a prompt or a callout. Now there are many different reasons why you would like to use a callout and in this case I have multiple reasons. One of the reasons here is to specify to you that I am going to cover two different methods to create a silence. One it is located over here and the other one is located over here. Basically I did not plan for this at the time of the lesson but it did came out throughout my recording so I decided to leave it and then to create a couple of callouts that I could utilize to tell you what it is that is going on. Another reason to use a callout is to correct things that you might have said at the time of your recording. So I'm going to show this part of my recording and please pay attention to what I am saying because that is going to explain well the reason why I decided to use a callout at this point in time. Yeah. You can see that as I am moving this lever, the sound file is raising and you can... So at this moment in time I said the sound file is raising and that is not really accurate. I really wanted to say that as I move this little lever up and down, the volume increases or decreases. So that's why I decided to just straight out include here, I meant to say the volume increases or decreases. That helps me a lot to not reproduce this entire part and redo my recording and it is a lot easier just to come over here and do a quick fix. The second type of callout that you can see here is the arrow. And the arrow comes out there but it has no text. The main idea is to focus your attention to something specific. And by that you can see that the volume is changing as I move the lever's position. So there are multiple ways to use callouts and these are just a few of them. One thing that is important to mention about prompts is that it follows the same logic when it comes to the layering of the different tracks in your production. In other words, if your prompt is placed in this track at the top, it's going to appear as it is on top of the other tracks in your recording. So this arrow over here, which is this callout over here, is underneath this one over here. But since both do not overlap, that doesn't become apparent. However, it follows the same logic that as you put different callouts on top of the different tracks, the one that is at the top in the track would also be at the top in the screen. Very well. There are many ways to use prompts, and I am only showing you two of them. The first one is to make clarifications after recording so it is easier for you to finish than to make a brand new production with your entire tutorial. And the other one, for example, could be giving students an assignment. So during the recording you ask students to pause the video, they read the prompt, they perform the task, and then they continue watching your video. So I'm going to demonstrate how creating a callout or a prompt takes place and I am going to select any portion of this video. There's nothing specific in this video at this moment in time that I would like to add a prompt for, but I am just doing it for demonstration purposes. So once that you have placed the head, whatever it is that you want your prompt to appear, you need to come to this menu over here where it says annotations. 
remember that if you cannot see this menu over here you might have to press on this button on the left side in order to bring it up remember that it matters what it is that you are selecting in this area over here so this area will present different type of information it's dynamic and it will allow you to do different things for your recording so what you need to do is to select one of the callouts and bring it to the recording whatever it is that you want to place it so I'm gonna place it here at that moment the callout appears on the screen and it has a certain length that normally is about five seconds however you can expand the duration of your callout by clicking and dragging any of the two edges to any of both sides of the callout now in order to type on the callout you need to select it double click and you can type in there whatever it is that you would like to include in your recording if you would like to change as it is this case because my font is white and my callout background is white too I'm gonna come to this part of the screen and I am gonna bring this contextual menu so I can change the color of the font you can change what is written inside the callout in many different ways and in my case what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna grab this little edge Control Z is my best friend I'm gonna grab this edge and I'm gonna increase the size of my callout by manipulating this inside box and the outside box I'm gonna be able to not only change the size of the box but also the individual box that holds the text and there it is also you can decide where you would like to place this callout so it doesn't interfere with all the things that you are recording in your screen at that moment so I'm going to change the contents of this callout so I can show you how I would create a task for your students so I'm gonna click and move it up I am gonna grab this edge over here and I am gonna include something very big like that now I'm gonna once again select that I am going to reduce the size of my callout and now I am gonna type a task so I wrote a callout that asks first to please pause the video and then I ask you to reflect on what could be the possible uses of a callout or a prompt I request that you write a paragraph explaining one of those possible uses and when you're done I am asking you to please continue watching the video so in essence this prompt could be very long assuming that the student will take time to read it all or it can be fairly short because you're asking the students to pause the video take a moment to read it perform a task and then continue there is one more thing that I would like to cover and it is how to delete that prompt or callout in case you don't use it anymore and it could be as easy as selecting the callout and clicking on your delete key and then at that moment the callout will disappear